Yeah, good afternoon to members of the media. Um, now, congratulations to the football club. It means a lot. It means a lot to the team. It means a lot to the supporters. It means a lot to 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 the management of this club who have invested a lot. And, uh, we've fallen short a, a couple of years now, and now it's only one step further. And um, and, and and the dream lives on. Thank you, Coach. Uh, members of the media, it's an opportunity to ask questions. Please raise your hand, identify yourself as well as the publication that you represent. Coach, can I some one of your blog posts? Sure, can. How easy or how difficult was it to, to flush out the, the first leg and, and play this game? Because um, first half, kind of, I'm not sure if first half, would you say that the first half was a bit of a shock? Uh, to your players, uh, how, how easy or difficult was it to flush out the first leg and, and play this game as, as, a, as a first game? Yeah, uh, good question, Kent. Um, I, I'm sure it was very difficult. One of my biggest disadvantages is not having played professional football. So some of these things I have not lived. Uh, and so I have huge expectations, but from a, from a psychological perspective, I can just imagine how difficult it is. So is, I have a reliance on, on 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 speaking to the players a lot. I I I have to speak. I have to feel. I have to sense where they are and and and, and what they think about the game. And then uh, try to be emotionally very very sober. So the feeling I got even in the first half before they scored was we were closer to scoring than they were, uh, and I thought we were in control. Uh, the only uh, disappointment of the first half is is the extra um, five minutes after they scored. I think emotionally we were rattled a little bit and, and, and not to continue to play and play and play. And, and then, and then uh, fortunately, we didn't bleed a lot around the box because if you bleed a lot around the box against the North African side, they get free kicks, they get uh, corner kicks, and then they, they smell blood and they, they go for the second. And that could have complicated issues. But after that, I think uh, we then stabilized ourselves again. We showed very good leadership. Uh, the, the senior players uh, took charge of the game again and um, a very good goal uh, from Mshishi. And then, uh, and then uh, at halftime, we had to talk about a couple of things, uh, make a few tweaks in our build-up. Two or three steps from AB meant th two or three steps from, from, from Modiba. Then it meant two or three steps for from Bule, and then once you could get that, you've got very good rest defense, you've got very good possibilities for retaining possessions, and then you defend a lot better. So you don't defend with the 10 coming to the half space, you actually then defend with the 8. That means you've got a bit more potency on transition because the 10 is a little bit higher. And then the strikers are, are closer to the center backs because with the back three, it's a little bit complicated. So good, good. Congratulations to the players. Congratulations to 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 the football club. Congratulations to the supporters. They were they were good today. They came in numbers and they supported us and uh, um, gave us a lot of energy in a in a in, in in a very difficult game against a very very good side with a good coach. Thank you, coach. Thank you, coach. Lani, um, sure, Lawrence. The uh, opposition Lawrence. coach. Please. <laughs> Um, the opposition coach uh, was very complimentary about you, the squad as well, pre-match and post-match. Mm. The strongest team in Africa, uh, most technically good team in Africa, and probably gonna win the Champions League. Um, does that mean that you know all the hard work over the year versus over the past few seasons are now truly behind you guys, and that uh, is probably the uh, yeah, we received the compliments with a lot of humility and appreciation um, coming from a, a very experienced coach on the continent. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, like I always say with the pleasantries, it's, uh, it's, being, it's like being fed honey on a knife. And I don't have to go too far back to, because a couple of weeks ago we lost to Stelis and we were the worst team. I was the worst coach. And so uh, uh, this is football. In football, you have to take the good moments just like you take the bad moments. Not, not too high in the good moments, not too low in the bad moments. We have a 24-hour rule, so we will enjoy the game, the feeling. 
Ooh, and then rest, lots of sleep, lots of water. Tomorrow we come in, we clean the game from our system, and then we prepare for, for a very difficult match against Amazulu. Thank you, Coach. Do you have a question? Mr. Kisi? Uh, two questions on the same theme, if I may. Uh, is there a mental block about Widat, or do you think that's sort of something that is a bit of a media creation? And the 2023 version of Widat, you having obviously done all your homework, uh, are there a patch on the last year's side, given all the coaching changes and personnel changes? Uh, it strike me as an amateur viewer as not the same team, not as good as the team that won last year. Sure. Um, very good questions, Big Mark. <coughs> the, what do I think? Look, I've, 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 I must be honest, I've only watched them from, uh, from a spectator's point. Uh, to keep abreast with the Champions League, so in the group stages I watched, uh, to try to watch all the opponents and try to have a feeling about all the opponents and where the level of the Champions League is. And then uh, I watched last night, I watched last night, uh, as a, again as a spectator, not, not really knowing which team we would play against, so I'm, I'm watching both Simba and both Widat, so there was no zooming in on, on, on what I feel, but the, the, the work will, will of course begin immediately as we get closer to it uh, because for now a uh, lot of work was done for this game a lot of work is now going to be put into Amazulu uh, very very difficult match very difficult opponent uh, and will be very difficult in KZN uh, for sure so uh, we have to we have to work very hard with the preparations of that match and then as we get closer to it uh, I will have a little bit more of a overview but difficult team uh, have a very good historic his historic attachment to the Champions League like Al Ahli and uh, so we're going to have to play very very well but we'll jump that bridge as soon as we get to it I think I've answered both if 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 not yeah I, I don't feel I don't feel it personally, but as I said, is is maybe I don't feel it because I I didn't live the situation, so I will rely a lot again. Once I, as I said, uh, talking to the players, what their feelings are, and 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 and, and we'll try to prepare as as best best as we possibly can. Thank you, Sure, come on. The you welcome. Congratulations on the progression. Sure, come. Yeah. I wanted to find out, um, just hopping on to the same thing that Mark was talking about, um, is it perhaps a bit of a danger to try to analyze a team that's had three different coaches throughout the season uh, to gauge whether, where they are and how they play? Is it, is it a bit trickier to prepare for a team like that? Yeah. No, it's very difficult. I can I can just imagine if it's difficult for us how difficult it is for the players. But uh, but uh, let's 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 get on to it as we as we approach. You've seen it. it's going to be difficult for Amazulu. They've also had uh, a coaching change now recently. Uh, but as I say, you know the game belongs to the players. So who plays is the players. So how, where do we start with the profiling? Is the technical abilities of, of of the players and the individuals and what they bring to the to the to the to the group? And then uh, of course, then uh, we look at the tactics and and some of the patterns that we can pick up. So, but. But we'll jump that bridge as we get to it. Feet firmly planted on the ground and focused on the next big assignment, which is Amazulu. Mm -hmm. um, Kosha, I just want to touch on our game. I know I asked on the other side. Yeah. Um, considering two set plays, and um, I've been looking at um, how dangerous um, an opponent like Widat is uh, in, in that space. It has become a concern at this stage. And when I look at um, this level, in fact, this stage, and then I look at uh, the two finals, and also yeah. if you go to the final, um, you have the second legs at home. Is is this something that is even more inviting to the team to say um, the omens have spoken? Hmm. Uh, no, uh, Davi is very difficult. It's a it's a difficult competition, very complicated. It's got it's got its own dynamics and and its own challenges. And uh, we have to prepare. If you if you don't prepare for what could happen in open play, you're going to you're going to get punished and suffer. 
if you don't prepare for what could happen on set pieces, you're going to get punished and suffer. So, so we we know we know that we try to keep the ball as much as we possibly can. We know what results in some of the transitions. We know that uh, with a lot of turnovers, you then invite uh, a little bit of these situations that a lot of these teams play for. So the starting point is. Of course, take care of the ball and try to be try to be very aggressive in looking after it and and having more passes so you can move the block a little bit more. So everything starts with what we do when we are in possession of the ball, and then and then of course then there's there's counter pressing and there's uh, recoveries and and then of course if you can't do that then it's tactical fouls. But where and how close to the box and and, and all these other things. But um, Okay, good. The feeling now is a feeling that the team is qualified for the semi-final. Positivity. Try to enjoy the moment uh, for the short period that we have, and uh, try to work on, on on some of the mistakes because they, of course, even when you win, there's a lot of mistakes. And just uh, like when you when you lose, they are more glaring to everybody. Uh, and so we go we go step by step, day by day, and try to get better. And these second legs at home, do they make you to start believing? I've always been a believer. Always been a believer. Thank you, Coach. Do you have any other <coughs> questions? Mr. Pisson and then Florence. Uh, Coach, you made a, a fairly remarkable confession there about the fact that you didn't play professional football and it does perhaps inhibit some of your... How much of a... Just a general question. How much of a... Uh, a perceived mental impediment is it that you haven't, you know, if you, they say you don't have to have been a horse to become a jockey, but um, I mean, and there are more and more successful coaches who haven't played professional football, but is it a kind of a little bit of a, uh, uh, something that gnaws at your shoulder? The fact, do you, do you feel that maybe um, that's something that's kind of missing in your armory? Mm, no, because I make up for it with a lot of hard work. I, I make up, I, I know very well uh, the race that I'm running. I know, uh, that's why I, I, and the PSL coaches will tell you, I'm probably the one that least spoken, I don't, I, I really try to respect the fact that uh, a coach like Evan Hunt has won so much more than me, has played football at the highest level in this country and has coached so many, many teams. Uh, and they, they are coaches that have done incredible work, uh, achieved incredible things more than I have, and maybe are even way better than, than I could ever be. But uh, the fact that I, I, and I know, I know my, um, what you call my handicaps, I know my handicaps. The first is that I'm young, the second is that I'm black, and the second is that I never played professional football. And so all these things I am very, very much aware of, and that's what makes me work three times as hard, three times as hard, uh, because I know I've got to make up for, for so many uh, uh, handicaps. Um, but um, good, what helps is that I've also got a very good team with good players. I've got good support from, from the football club with, uh, with the management and everybody associated the technical team and the entire club and that makes a big 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 difference in terms of making up for for some of the the inhibitions if you'd like to for a better uh, term and um, then everything else is is, uh, is is god's grace for sure thank you coach we'll take the last two questions i see there's a hand right at the, at the back thank you so much sure Firstly, uh, congratulations on the winning. Uh, my question is that uh, I see most of the opponents when they start on their back foot, uh, like defending very much deeply. So, like, uh, I don't know, maybe if there is any strategy, maybe like for the players to treat maybe like long shots or whatsoever, because of you could see that they started on the back foot. So, I'm not sure if maybe like out of the 18 or two. Thank uh, you, sir. Thank you. Sure. Okay, thanks. Coach, um, we don't have accreditation for that person, so we, know, we won't address that. We'll take the next question, Mr. V. Um, coach, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, just diluting that. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Um, could a colleague of mine spoke about the mental block of uh, Wigat and selling finance. Um, uh, I, I guess when you get to this level of face with the experience that is there with the club and selling finance, and sure. Uh, in, in preparing for this match, how much of a mental uh, preparation are you going to have to do on the players so that when they get there, um, they don't, you know, play or play? We are just privileged enough to live this, this moment and so I don't think there will be a lot of uh, work to do mentally. I, honestly, I know the group, I, I know the feeling, I know the type of human beings they are and I really, I really doubt that we'll have to do long speeches and uh, even, even for this game. It was very, very little motivation and um, just to make sure the tactics are right, but also to, to get the feel and to talk to them and, and have a lot of one-on-ones. That's what we will continue to do. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. Um, but um, as I said, uh, we are very privileged, one, that we work with very good football players, Masasi, and two, we 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 also understand how privileged we are to live in these moments because these moments don't come regularly. We know that because only last season we hoped and we worked and we wanted to be in the semi-finals and now we are in the semi-finals. And, and we have to live this moment uh, and enjoy it as, as, as much as you, you can and, and what better way than to, to live every single thing, every single day on the pitch in, in preparation and trying your level best to win. Sure, so, uh, Lawrence. I think Tapelo Molina is probably your big game player, um, playing up top, like the 40s or the 70s, <laughs> all the big games showing up. Uh, just how important is he to, you know, uh, against these, these North African sides, obviously, places are high, you like an animal. And then secondly, Sipon Puglia, are you happy with the balance he gives when Ali is not there? Uh, I spoke a little bit about Sipo before, and I was uh, again. It's, uh, I will reiterate. Sipo is at a very good level, uh, and like many many of our players at the moment, good performance is very stable. Uh, but like many of our players, we can get better and uh, will get better. Uh, I put a lot of pressure on them. I push, uh, and Sipo Sipo is one of the players that I think. In this country, we haven't seen the best of. Is 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 he knows that because I, I speak to him a lot about it. He's incredibly talented, and a, and a very very good person. Sipo is a good person, but as I said, he's. Uh, I could say the same about Peter. I could say the same about Mshishi. I could say the same about Ronza. I could uh, say the same about Debs. Are good people. Uh, Sailor, uh, Kulisomuda, uh, Mudiba. Mudiba. The last two games, outstanding, uh, outstanding defensively, offensively. Uh, build up phase, uh, Modiba, excellent, excellent. So Sipo is in that space like many of our players. Um, Tapelo, <laughs> so funny. I said to Tapelo, he must check his, 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 his family tree. I said that this morning. I said to him, hey, you must check your family tree. I think your forefathers have some North African, uh, uh, some North African uh, uh, roots or DNA because it's just it's, he comes alive against the North Africans. He, uh, his best games against the North Africans. It just seems like it. So possibly uh, Tapelo has a, a great grandfather, great 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 grandfather that comes from somewhere up north for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Coach. If I can ask, we squeeze in one last question. Sure, 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 uh, Yeah. Temper just equals uh, the president of the mm. second highest scorer in the <coughs> Pearson era. Um, Did he equal it or break it? Equal it. So Pearson, and then the other eight. one is top for Kev. So he surpassed surprise on Kev with seven. Unbelievable. Yeah, so <laughs> I know you've said so much about him. Is there any more that you still have that you can say about Temper? How long you have? One minute. Ah, <laughs> it's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Um, Shishi. Um, it's just a pleasure to coach Shishi. You know, uh, good players make 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 coaches better. 
and that's what he makes me every single day. He makes me better, uh, <coughs> uh, amazing human being, uh, amazing aura. And I think as he, he no, and seriously, and, and honestly, uh, there was a, there was an interview. Uh, you know, I live in that space. All, all of you, I get mocked for it. I get criticized, but I live because it's important to 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 learn. And Pep was talking about uh, Bernardo Silva and how good Bernardo makes the team look. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 without the goals, without the assists, for sure, Mshishi Mish actually makes us play a lot better. He does. Offensively, he finds the spaces. He, today, he was so good behind uh, the defensive uh, midfielders uh, to provoke the centre-backs to jump out and to press. And when they don't press, he was able to turn and, and advance the attack. And he was... Um, but. Um, Mshishi is, 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 is one of the, the, the great football players we'll ever see in South Africa and we are just fortunate, you, uh, you hear it. Honestly, the biggest testament um, of, of, of a great footballer is when the compliment comes from fellow footballers. And you, you hear how players speak about Mshishi. You hear when, when uh, even players that don't even play for Sundowns for an example, uh, Bafana played in Liberia. Mayambela scored. You, you, you know what celebration Mayambela did? It's a 2016 Mshishi celebration. So you understand, you understand the influence that this guy has uh, on many generations, not just the current generation of Sundowns, but the previous and, and this aura and this ability. But over and above that, uh, again, another one that uh, is, 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 is a a testament that to be a top football player you've got to be a top human being and that's what Mshishi is, is uh, before everything else that you see on the pitch and, and, and all these other things the amount of work that he does for, for the young ones and the support that he gives to, to, to the players and, and the confidence but when he's on the pitch that he gives to the team is incredible and uh, congratulations to him congratulations to, 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 to the players and, and uh, I'm sure uh, his teammates, and I'm sure um, we'll still see quite a lot from Mshishi because he lives he lives a very good life, uh, and and his lifestyle is good. He's, he looks after himself very very well. Uh, he he loves his kids, he, his sons. He, he loves his sons. He, he even though the other one, Sifiso, uh, gets a lot more attention than maybe all of them. But he loves his kids equally, and a uh, very good father, the very good leader, and uh, as I said, uh, that's a sign that he's uh, a very good human being. Thank you, Kush. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.